functions of a complex variable. Okay, so how does it uh, look like? It will be something f of z. You can say w is equal to f of z. Correct. Now, uh, if you uh, try to uh, make real an imaginary part, that is, if you put w equal to u plus iv, then your function f of z will be u plus iv, uh, where u is a function of x y. I should write it as u is u of x y and v is v of x y and where your z is x plus i y so in general this is how your function look like where u and v are uh, u is a real valued function u and v are real, real valued function uh, yeah so now you can make uh, let me write f of z equal to u of x comma y plus i times v of x comma y. Any function can be written, any complex valued function can be written of this form. Correct? And you can make it in polar form also by substituting x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. That means what? You can substitute z equal to r e raised to i theta. That's it. So if you substitute this in your equation then your function will be uh, something like this f of z it will be of this form u of r theta plus i v of r theta okay hmm. so let us take some example and see can we write uh, f of z equal to mod z see mod z square then what is mod z square this is x square plus y square and can I write plus 0y that means what is my u of x y that is x square plus y square what is v of x y that is 0 so this is real part of that function and this is imaginary part of that function you can define rational functions also that is something upon something hmm. now uh, the question comes that can you write any function of this form so let us take an example uh, write the function f of z is equal to z cube plus z plus 1 in the form in the form f of z equal to u of x y plus i v of x y correct how will you do that it's quite simple just you need to put at the place of z you need to put x plus i y and you need to solve this f of z will be x plus i y the whole cube plus x plus i y plus one take all real part together you will be having something x cube minus 3xy square plus x plus 1 so this will be a real part plus i times the next part will be 3x square y minus y cube plus y yeah so you are able to write this in the form of so this is my u and this is my v u and v yes and one more case may occur that is write uh, when your function is given in this form that is something like this suppose f of z equal to x square minus y square minus 2y plus i times 2x minus 2xy then the question is write it in the form of z write f of z in terms of so you will see in some times uh, when your function is in terms of z then it is quite easy to solve and in sometimes when it is in terms of x and y then it is easy to solve so you must know how to go back from here to here like that so now what will you do you want to put, uh, get the value you want to put everything in terms of z any idea 
what should I do? I need to substitute the value of x and y something. Can you tell me what should I substitute? If you are given z equal to x plus i y. Anyone? You need to write x as in terms of z and something. I'll just give you one more hint. Uh, Z is x plus y y, Z bar is x minus i y. Now can you tell me the value of x and y in terms of Z? Oh, or I will ask with someone. Mm. Uh, Rini, can you hear me? is not available. Remit? Hmm. Can you tell me the value of x in terms of z? I have given you a hint. Perfect. z plus z bar pi 2. If you add both of them then i y i y get cancelled. You will be having 2x, so you want the value x, then this is very nice. What about y? For y, you need to cancel this z minus z bar divided by will it be 2? Two i yes, because i will be extra term. You need to divide that. Good. So can you do that now? You just need to substitute it here and solve. Can you do that? What is this x square minus y square minus two y? So you can you can just to substitute x and y and get otherwise if you are able to observe something then that is also good something i can i can give you a hint see this is x square this is minus y square so can i write this as plus i y the whole square uh, just a quick observation x square plus i'm putting it as i y the whole square can i do that now if I, I just want to make it as a plus b the whole square so what x square plus i square what i required next uh, or it may be of a minus b the whole square so i uh, next thing i required is a 2x i y that is 2x y i this is what i want Either plus ho ya minus ho kuch farak nahi padta. What, but are you having something? Do you see that? Plus i into ya minus 2xy. So I am having with the negative sign. You agree? And what is next remaining? Minus 2y uh, plus uh, 2xi. Okay, nice. So can you observe this thing? What the first term is? that is x minus i y the whole square and if you take i common from this that is minus 2 i common then you will be having uh, this will be wait minus 2 and you let it be as it is just take i common uh, 2 i common if you take 2 i common here i am not having i i will multiply and divide by i both the side or since minus is there now so you can write is that i square plus 2y i square so this will become 2y mm, is outside 
it will be I think x here it will be x plus i y correct it will be just x plus i y just observe this thing and tell me if you are able to get that minus I am writing minus as i square so this minus is not there with me now it is I will write here i square something like this now if you take 2y common then you are having x plus i y so what is this this is my z bar the whole square plus this is 2i z so you are able to write it in terms of z this is what we wanted sometimes this will be helpful for us sometimes this so we must know take it okay now there may be some question put it in the form of polar polar coordinate then you should be able to do that I'm not going to that part yeah, so let us define limit and limit of a function okay how does we write limit z tending to z naught f of z that is equal to c w naught correct so this is called a limit exist and limit is equal to w naught and when this limit is same as f of z naught then we say that function is continuous at that point actually correct uh, can you define this anyone i want the definition definition of limit if you remember then you can able to yes same that is you bhi tum logne pehle dekha hoga limit ka definition hello can you hear me okay i'll ask with someone then hmm jamin what is the epsilon delta definition of limit अब ये कौन सी बात हुई एप्सलॉन डेल्टा डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिमिट बोल रहा हूँ एंड आई हैव रिटर्न समथिंग आई हैव रिटर्न समथिंग वही वही यू जस्ट लुक एट दिस मैंने मतलब जो लिखा है कैन यू फ्रेम दिस इन दिस फॉर्म आई जस्ट राइट यू से फॉर ऑल एप्स लॉन पॉजिटिव वट इज नेक्स्ट थिंग फॉर फॉर या एक्चुअली आई शुड हाँ If I am writing this, so I'll just open the bracket. There exists delta greater than zero, satisfying some condition. What are the condition? In this case, it is okay. correct. Very nice. Implies that means again I'll open the bracket. Mod of f of वेरी नाइस गुड सो कितने ब्रैकेट क्लोज होंगे वन टू थ्री यस सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिमिट एंड इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट दिस ब्रैकेट ये बेसिकली एम टी टी एस का फंडा है टू राइट दिस समथिंग इन दिस फॉर्म इफ यू डोंट लाइक दिस दैन यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट फॉर ऑल एप्स लॉन्ट पॉजिटिव देर एग्जिस्ट डेल्टा सेटिस्फाइंग 
mod of z minus z naught less than delta imply mod of f of z minus w naught that is less than epsilon yes correct so this is the definition of limit z tending to z naught function of the function equal to w naught correct but if i say uh, define a uh, limit defined limit of f of z from z to z goes to z naught then what then uh, that means we are not given w naught then we have to start with there exists a w naught belongs to real number or whatever you say such that uh, in this case it is complex number there exists w naught belongs to c such that for all epsilon positive first condition there exists delta positive such that mm, mod of z minus z naught that is less than delta again bracket open f of z minus w naught that is less than epsilon that is less than epsilon bracket close bracket close jo bhi hai so when i say a uh, defined limit of function the you need to start with there exist correct but if i am directly given this that is it is equal to w naught then you should start with this okay after defining this what is the next step what is the first theorem you always prove after defining limit yes limit of a function f of z if exist is unique correct then it is unique can you prove this anybody quickly you must have done it in so many times uh, even fy bsc may be kiya hoga sy may be kiya hoga let us do it again anybody you want to prove uniqueness of limit Yeah, I'll ask with someone. Uh, Rajas. Rajas, can you hear me? See, you must idea. If you don't want to say anything, don't say anything. Sir will think that network issue or something. A minus P. हाँ, हम्म हाँ हाँ तू स्टार्ट, स्टार्ट कैसे करें बस ये बात है। I want to prove uniqueness of limit। Perfect, very nice। So कैसे स्टार्ट करें? Suppose Suppose limit z tending to z not f of z is equal to w not and एक और बोल दिया फिर व्हाट नेक्स्ट व्हाट नेक्स्ट हम्म ओके मतलब यू विल फर्स्ट राइट डेफिनेशन ऑफ बोथ करेक्ट नहीं नहीं चलेगा चलेगा वे ओके नो इश नो इश हाँ नहीं सी पहले इसका डेफिनेशन लिखा है फॉर दिस यू विल बी हैविंग अ डेल्टा एंड फॉर दिस आल्सो यू विल बी हैविंग अ डेल्टा करेक्ट सी इसके लिए डेल्टा नॉट एंड डेल्टा वन सो यू आर हैविंग टू डेल्टा 
नाउ वट डू यू वॉन्ट यू वॉन्ट अ डेल्टा सच दैट दोनों कंडीशन साथ में सेटिस्फाई हो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वट आई एम सेंग लेटेस्ट लेटेस्ट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट राइट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस दैट मीन्स फॉर ऑल एफ सोन पॉजिटिव देर एग्जिस्ट डेल्टा वन सैटिस्फाइंग डेल्टा वन पॉजिटिव सैटिस्फाइंग मॉड ऑफ जेड माइनस जेड नॉट लेस देन डेल्टा वन डेल्टा नॉट बोलो या डेल्टा वन चलेगा तुमको ये डब्ल्यू नॉट बोला है तो आई विल जस्ट रिस्ट्रिक्ट विट डेल्टा नॉट इम फ्लाइज मॉड ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड माइनस डब्ल्यू नॉट दैट इज लेस देन एप्सलॉन आई एप्सलॉन बाई टू विल बी बेटर फॉर द सेम एप्सलॉन आई विल राइट आई शुड राइट फॉर सेम एप्सलॉन पॉजिटिव there exist because this is true for since limit exists so this is true for any epsilon but i'll be using the same epsilon to uh, make it hello yeah so what should i start with for the same epsilon positive there exists delta 1 positive satisfying mod of z minus z not That is less than delta one imply mod of f of z minus w one. That is less than epsilon by two. What next? We will say the next thing. Uh, pratiksha. Abhi kya karein? Perfect. Very nice. ओके वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माय साइड व्हाई शुड वी चूज द मिनिमम व्हाई नॉट मैक्सिमम मिनिमम ही क्यों परफेक्ट वेरी नाइस वेरी गुड सो यू कैन अज्यूम लाइक दिस मॉड ऑफ जेड माइनस जेड नॉट दैट इज लेस देन डेल्टा नॉट है एंड यू आर हैविंग जेड माइनस जेड नॉट दैट इज लेस देन डेल्टा वन सो इफ यू ड्रॉ अ ग्राफ आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू वट इज द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस तो ग्राफ कैसा आएगा एनी बडी क्विकली वी हैव डन दैट पार्ट इसका ग्राफ कैसा आएगा यस राहुल व्हाट इज द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस ओके श्रवणी श्रवणी कैन यू हेयर मी व्हाट इज द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस नो आई कैन नॉट हियर यू सर्कल वेरी नाइस व्हाट इज द सेंटर इन रेडियस Z not is the center and uh, delta not is the radius. Perfect, very nice, good. So suppose I am considering Z not is here, okay? So I'll be having a circle whose radius is W not, and here also I am having the same center and I am having radius say W one. So it may be either outside or it may be inside. Correct now, uh, which uh, Which of the following region is there, which contains in both the thing? So the minimum one definitely. This region is already contained in this one, and this region is also lying in this one. So minimum should work, correct? And once you uh, define the in terms of sequence, then it is maximum. हम लोग को choose करना होता है. If you remember, because in the sequence, uh, if you take epsilon band. then you need to having something all the people should lie in this epsilon band yahan pe ek and not rahega and here somewhere uh, if you take any other and not then it will be something if you take any other epsilon band it will be something n1 so you need to choose the maximum one so that both the condition satisfy hone chahiye dono epsilon band mein 
इफ यू रिमेंबर ये सिक्वेंस का सो आई विल नॉट गो इन दैट पार्ट लेट एस स्टिक टू दिस वन ओनली फर्स्ट या सो नाउ लेट एस चूज चूज डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू मिनिमम ऑफ डेल्टा नॉट एंड डेल्टा वन सी दी आर द डेफिनेशन विल बी हेल्पफुल वंस यू गो फॉर हायर मैथमेटिक्स वहां पे तो कोई पूछेगा नहीं तुमको यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट इट क्विकली सो क्या आएगा वेन से डेल्टा इज मिनिमम देन मॉड ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड माइनस डब्ल्यू नॉट दैट इज लेस देन एफ जेड बाई टू एंड मॉड ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड माइनस डब्ल्यू वन दैट इज ऑल्सो लेस देन एफ जेड बाई टू वट नेक्स्ट वट शुड आई डू नाउ नीड टू कंसिडर डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू नॉट और वट यूर डब्ल्यू नॉट माइनस डब्ल्यू एन मॉड में कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट यू हैव सम रिलेशन विथ एफ ऑफ जेड सो यूल एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट एफ ऑफ जेड इन दिस टू डब्ल्यू एन माइनस एफ ऑफ जेड माइनस डब्ल्यू नॉट प्लस एफ ऑफ जेड सो दिस विल बी इफ यू सॉल्व लिटिल बिट एंड पुट इट ऑफ द फॉर्म सो दिस विल लेस देन एफ सॉन बाई टू प्लस एफ सॉन बाई टू एंड दैट इज लेस देन दैट इज इक्वल टू एफ सॉन सो यू हैव प्रूव दैट mod of w and minus w not that is less than epsilon but what was your epsilon epsilon was any given number correct any number so so what is the condition since it was any uh, natural number and you are saying less than epsilon and you already know uh, by archimedean property you can prove this thing so this will imply w1 minus w0 must be zero that is w1 equal to w0 that gives the uniqueness of limit correct is that clear is the proof clear to you everyone kuch uh, alag nahi hai isme This is same thing जो तुमने भी किया है पहले से ही ओके लेट एस डू वन सोल्यूशन देन एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू आई जेड बार बाई टू सो दिस इज द फंक्शन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज दैट लिमिट जेड टेंडिंग टू वन एफ ऑफ जेड दैट इज इक्वल टू क्या आएगा लिमिट जेड टेंडिंग टू वन एफ ऑफ जेड एनी गेस विल विल डू सम मोर प्रॉब्लम कि सॉल्व कैसे करते हैं ये लिमिट बट डू यू हैव एनी गेस क्या आना चाहिए वो आंसर यस एनी वन हाँ दिस इज टू हाँ सॉरी मेरा टू और जेड लुक्स क्वाइट सेम विशाखा कैन यू टेल मी आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ओके ओके नो इश्यू आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट यू जस्ट रिवाइज योर सेमेस्टर थ्री पार्ट and can you relate this thing with that anybody if you are able to i'm opening for everyone anybody what you, what will be the answer of this what is your guess anything if you have I'll just give you a hint. When z tending to one, what about z bar? Where does this tend to? If you don't like this, also then I'll write x plus i y tends to one. Then what about x minus i y? Come on, you should answer this. <laughs> अगेन अगर नहीं अच्छा लग रहा है इसको वन प्लस जीरो आई आई कैन राइट 
x plus i y tends to 1 plus 0 y then x minus i y z uh, tending to a real number na so imagine ka kuch farak padega kya isko x plus i y x minus i y kuch bhi rakho why is not since it is right hand side is a real number so it will again tends to 1 only z tending to 1 so z bar is 1 only do you agree and in my function function was only with the z bar so what will be your guess answer kya aega? it will be i by 2 now abhi you must ask sir is me sybc aap bol rahe is me sybc ka kya use hua so i can write this thing as limit x comma y tends to 1 comma 0 and uh, your function whatever it may be that means i x minus i y by 2 so do you see or agar still